Today I'm going to replace the uh, color wheel in my Samsung DLP television. So a friend of mine suggested that I uh, videotape it and put it up on YouTube. So I thought that was a good idea. Um, basically I'm going to be following instructions that I found on the internet and it, I will edit in um, the URL of the website that I'm using. Uh, so with that, let's get started. All right, uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the back of the television. Um, you do that by removing 14 screws. I've already done this. Um, first screw, second screw, third screw, fourth screw, fifth screw, sixth screw, seventh screw, eighth screw, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, and then there's two more on that side. So I've already done that. So let me back up here and I'll show you how to take the back cover off. It's pretty easy, it just slides off. So forgive my uh, camera work, but this is for instruction, so I expect that you'll bear with me. All right, so once the screws are removed, oh, and the television is unplugged, by the way, obviously. Well, not obvious in this video, but it is. The back panel just slides off. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is remove the uh, projector lamp, which is this assembly right here. You can see, let me give you perspective. There's the connections, there's the fan. This assembly right here is the uh, lamp. Basically, you're going to do to remove it, you simply remove that screw. So I'll do that now. Move the little handle so you can get at the screw. And that's out. Then to remove the lamp itself, you simply pull on the handle. And it's out. Put that someplace safe. And move on to the next step. Now, the instructions on the internet uh, that I'm using say that the removal of the lamp is not necessarily uh, required for this, but it allows you to better see the color wheel. So in a second, when I find the color wheel, I'll show you where it is. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is remove the DVI connector. And you do that by simply unscrewing the posts. Which I might need to go get another screwdriver for this. Oh, no, it'll come. There's the first post. I'm going to pause you guys until I've undone this. Alright, so that cable is now disconnected. Um, I did have to go and get a flathead screwdriver to get to the inside post. Alright, let me look and see what the next step is. Alright, the next step is to disconnect the blue and the brown uh, wire from the board. So to give you an idea, Here's our panel again. There's the fan. The blue and the brown wire is right there. So, should be fairly easy, I hope. You just squeeze the clip and it comes right undone. Now, your wire might be underneath that clip. On the internet, it says that it is. Mine, when I opened it up, wasn't. That could be from when I had to change the lamp last time. All right, so that step's done. Okay, so the next thing to do is remove, move a little closer there, the sheet metal bracket. So this bracket right here, that's held in 
on the internet it says by four screws, but mine is held in by one, two, three screws, it looks like. Well, I'll take those out and see if I find any more. Uh, so, I'm basically doing this today. I don't have the new color wheel, but it's supposed to be delivered by UPS today. So I'm hoping it comes while I'm taking out the old color wheel. I'm also doing it, I'm trying to get this completed. Uh, my kids are at school right now and I'm trying to get it all completed by the time they get back. So. A, the TV will be working, but B, I'll have to worry less about them uh, touching something they shouldn't touch. Okay, let's see. Where are my three screws? Also, my big concern is getting the screws mixed up. Looks like this is kind of clipped in here. There we go. So it's kind of held in by little tabs that went into that hole. So I'm going to set that aside. Now, most of the screws, the screws that hold in the, um, the back of the TV, uh, all look like this. So they're small, black, uh, it almost looks like they were cut off. There are a couple of brass screws. One is the one that holds in the color lamp, or the, the lamp. And that's right there. Now, after I remove the lamp, I put the screw back in there, so I don't have to worry about it. The second brass screw that i found so far held in that bracket, and it goes right there. So, I'm going to screw that back in. so I know where that screw goes. Okay, let's see what the next step is. All right, so the next step is to remove one screw from the uh, bottom left of the optic module tray. So this side of the television is the optic module. So that's where the lamp is, the fan is, the color wheel is. This side of the television is the connection side. So, uh, there's no picture on the internet, but I'm going to assume that that one screw is right here at the bottom of the picture. So, keep your fingers crossed. This is where it gets sketchy. Maybe. I've never done this before, so... Let's hope I'm right. Another small black screw, same size as the rest of them, yep, same size as the rest of them. Okay, let's see what the next instruction is supposed to slide out. So I'm going to move the camera. Oops, tripod's falling over. And see if I can slide it out. Oh, yeah. Okay, got to watch this cable right here. Make sure you can see it. I'm going to uh, disconnect that cable if I can. Okay, that was straightforward. Oh, watch. These guys at the top over here, let me adjust the camera. These wires up here, green and brown wire, kind of caught on this little circuit board up here. And voila! We are, have the optical module out of the television. Huh. Well, 
let's see what the next instruction is. Be right back. All right, 